I, I think out of all Radiant of the players on DC right now, he's had the biggest variety. Yes. <clears throat> Just because... HP damage. Uh, more importantly, it gave a lot of space for Wii to get those last hits on the Ooh, tower. Ooh, ensnared down bottom, looking for the Blade Fury. They get off the match, Missile's a bit late, he actually jukes down south. Still one more right click and they will find that kill, as it's going to be Visco. And uh, they will take... I think it's... It's a little interesting to see... Um, the Batrider not going for the jungle immediately. Oh. As long as he gets help from his teammates and they find a kill, then then it's fine that he doesn't go in the jungle. The Astral comes out and Moo with three sticky napalm stacks comes through. But top lane, Chun God getting chased down. TP, he doesn't have one, but he's got enough gold for it. He probably has to wait for Misery to go with a Earth Spike. But he's going to use it. He's got a Hex, and I don't think Chun God's getting out of here. They will get the kill onto the Elder Titan mid, but now they're turning it. Although Weehaw's gonna back away, Lion did get that kill on the Beast map. Would have been nice. Could use some extra gold. Twenty-six to forty, Weehaw. I it shouldn't be shocking to me that he's outlaning the the Lena, but now the pounce up into Chun God. Dark Pact is now down. He's got Shadow Dance. Chun God has no roar ready to go. All that could really do is hope that he can get the boar slow off and, and have resolution slowed down but get a gank set up with the help of the Beastmaster, but that is uh, unfortunately not happening. I mean, you really see the experience, the inexperience and the pressure getting to this Beastmaster here. He's still level 4. He should have definitely stayed in that jungle and just gotten his levels and his gold. And as we say that, Juggernaut gets taken out. Not super far out of his LSA, nicely done. Infused range drop will block the LSA from DDX. He'll get chased down, timber chain up. A Chakram will help set up his Earth Spike, but it's not slow enough. Pounce doesn't connect, LSA under Misery. Looking for the Laguna Blade. Misery still gets the finger off. It'll be a trade. He gets the Lena before he actually does. That's not who they're targeting. They're going for the Ventral Spirit instead. Picks up a double damage. I don't think that's going to help you. Misery will find the Earth Spike. He has Hex on top, ready to go. Early death. Coming out with the Timber Chain and Chakram, which eviscerates poor Vengeful Spirit. And then, oh, the Enchantress walks out, gets lasted up, not even needed. Untouchable being a bit of a nuisance, still is dead for it. Target is bottom, and it's Misery who's a lion. He's up to 1,300 gold. He may very well go down here, and he's already used his Earth Spike. He will not survive this. No TP scroll. LSA will connect Dragon Slave, and one more right click from Lena, and DDX will secure his dead kill. I mean, another target. It's the Juggernaut. His Blade Fury has already been used. Timber Chain away, but Misery now. They've popped the drum. That's actually from the Juggernaut. Now they're going to get Visco in. They chopped the Wave of Terror. Misery not going to get caught. They don't have the range for that swap out, but here comes Resolution. Dark Packs off the stun, and they blow up too instantly. Actually, it's going to take a little bit longer for that Juggernaut, but he will get caught by Resolution's right click. The Shadow Blade already working out, getting him enough damage. They, they rarely make mistakes except for maybe against some of the top teams at the Manila Major. However, Resolution, that's a mistake getting caught out. Roar, the Dragon Slave, and the Wave of Terror plus the right click to the Enchantress are able to secure the kill. Win the Wave of the Enchantress, and everyone else gets about two to three hundred for it, too. Well, Revenge does put down a ward, spots out the ET. Is he going to get it here? Swap back, Soxa, Magic Missile up. They've got Omni in three seconds. LSA on top. Earth Splitter will not save his life as he's dead for 34. Some big misplays being made, although Algodon is going to get blink last at Misery. He's got Finger, he's got Earth Spike ready to go, he's going to get it off. Flame Break, Finger of Death, the Firefly, bring him down. But they are going to get the rebuttal kill, else they will miss. Two right clicks, and here comes Weeha. How much damage can he actually do? Timber Chain in, looking for more. Firefly still ready to go for Moo, chasing down the Enchant, which is going to get out in time, no problem there. Or at least deal with the damage that Moo is pumping out. DDX, he's pretty speedy with Arcane Boots, and if you keep the Fiery Soul off, another Timber Chain coming in, but Weeha chasing after a ghost they do finally get the enchantress down i spoke too soon i thought that enchantress was going to be 10,000 almost 11,000 and with advantage for dc it's now only about 9,000 but here comes resolution looking for that silver kill he's got the echo saber now the pounce is up there's the dark pack chun gut still pretty tanky but the shadow dance will do the job he even drops the necro unit and on the other side roundable but it, it's getting to that point and if they get all of the outer towers they find a couple more kills, like you were talking about. Oh, that stop that lasso. Beautiful initiation. They're going to bring back the Firefly top. Earth Splitter lures the Earth Spark on getting Disco. They're going to bring him down as well. It's a double kill for resolution. They jump in further with the Timber Chain. Look. Seeing Lena drop out of favor so much is because there's so many more tanky cores in the game now. Even if she like, drops her combo on somebody, it's not always enough to kill somebody. And 
she's so squishy herself. Like, if she tries to use initiate, it's so easy to disrupt that combo. Ooh, the Omni Slash, can they bring Weeha down? He Timber Chains out. Algadon still has a long way to chase him down. Impetus, Timber Chain Juke away, but there's the Laguna, the Dragon Slay. They'll finally bring him down. Resolution in the backside. Earth Spitter will miss. Chun God getting chased up in him again. I've seen this before. Resolution hunting that Beastmaster once more. Finds himself the double. Misery blinks forward, looking for more. Oh, line up either. Not until Resolution is more farmed. I mean, they're not in any rush right I, now. I, I don't think so. Visco is going to get caught. Four hit. Yeah, Echo Saber came through. They're looking for more on the other side. They're looking for a blink initiation with Mu, but he doesn't find it. Stomp's going to come through. Earth Spike, Shun God. Misery does have finger, but instead Mu is going to have to back out. And this hit will do some damage along with the tower. But here comes Resolution. Whirling Death Shock from Shun God's already low enough. The finger will secure the kill. Now there's going to be the manager. And Earth Spike on top. And Misery is styling as it looks like the enchantress will fall next. Mu gets a dominating spree. They're overrunning both. No. I don't want to say I expect this outcome. It's not over I yet, mean, but we expected this outcome. We, we I think it. everybody expected this outcome. Honestly, I expected it more one-sided. I, 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 yeah, I, I did as well. Mu is actually going to go down to the Laguna Blade. He'll be dead. Cheap. Algadon has Omni Slash ready. Resolution will Shadow Blade away and not looking to give away any free kills. LSA, this goes slow down and then stops up the chalk from grabbing the kill. But there's a nice word. Dark packs it off by Resolution. Oh, this lag. Oh, that's not. I, I really like this play. Out of this is this is faulty. It's smart. Well, well, they know they have to make a play. So they have to make something happen in order to feel a bit more comfortable and confident with playing up against a team from Manila. You you probably don't push into the base now because of the ages, but I don't think they make that same decision. In fact, he just dives into the Jitri Tower. He looks for Chun God, and he's gonna kill him again with another Shadow Dance. The LSA will connect, but they, he's just still. Not really, he was invulnerable. Honestly, they might as well try, it'll be as good as any, right? Yeah, they're gonna have to make something happen here momentarily. The tier 3 tower will fall, the lift not up for another, let's see, two minutes and I think it's flying out as we speak, it is. And now they're gonna go right to work, Weeha's gonna blink in, I think he missed on that blink looking for Algonon, instead he's gonna get the shot from off, Algonon still with a Blade Fury. Tough to decide when to use that ability, Finger blows up the Enchantress. And now Algadon gets caught, the Blade Fury comes out, and he's gonna lose the age from the Dark Pack Blaster, but Yule's up, counter the Team Bomb by DDX, still not enough, the Earth Splitter and Resolution running amok. There's the Abyssal, DDX will fall, and just like that, it's gonna be a full team wipe as Algadon. He'll get the Omni Slash off, and it'll only save him for half a second longer, and there it is, 24 minutes in, GG well played. I think we expected the game perhaps to end a bit earlier, but Nonetheless, DC get the job done. They get themselves another win. And no tonight, Tower, we were so close, Charlie. Damn it, we should have just said. Should, we just should have said no. You can't win them all. I just want to get one where I get all four right. We here for a, long, a while. We got three more days. Uh, Charlie, what to say about that Dota 2 game? Um, You know, no win. You're a little kid.